All right, today we have a couple scooters. Um, what we're talking about with scooters is the ease of operation and how they affect you as being a diver. Um, the beauty about a scooter is, is when you're using a scooter, there's really no kicking necessary. Um, when you do that, you breathe a lot easier on the reg, and you tend to extend your dive times by about 50%. Um, most of these scooters are actually very accommodating to that and have an average battery life of about 90 minutes to accommodate somebody that normally dives about an hour. On a scooter, you'll dive about an hour and a half in the same situations. A um, couple different things about the scooters is you have different sizes and types. Um, when you look at a scooter like this one, this is a little bit heavier duty. Um, it's got a depth rating to twice as deep as this. This is 230 feet. A smaller scooter like this one will be a depth rate of about 100 feet. Um, they're rated at about the same speed, two and a half miles an hour each. But the big thing here is, is this has a bigger engine. And because of that, a heavier person will not affect how the uh, scooter speeds along. Um, a bigger person or a heavier diver may affect this slightly and it may go a little slower because of that. Um, so that is a consideration to take when you're looking at the scooter. Also, this one has a battery life indicator. So you uh, know when the battery's about to run out instead of have to guesstimate at 90 minutes. Um, it also has a variable speed switch so you can exact, um, control exactly how fast this little propeller goes versus a on, on, all on or all off type switch system, um, something like this. Um, either way, you're getting something that's going to allow you to dive longer, swim easier, view more dive sites, see more stuff, and interact in the water better. Um, thank you and have a good day.